this thing, as you can see, has gotten uh, janky, let's say. I built all this when I was like 16. My standards of quality were a little lower back then. And then, I don't know, man, it's, it's broken down a lot of times and I've done little repairs a lot of times. And I think it's time to just restart from the beginning here. Like I could probably get this thing back up and running about 15 minutes of work, but I'd rather start over with something nice. So general plan is I'm going to keep the fire trough right there where it is in the center in the new construction. But I'm going to totally remove the assembly there and rebuild it. So I'm going to keep this kind of structure that it's all built on top of, the big stone table. But I'm going to take out this fire trough in the center, rebuild the assembly to hold that. And then over here where I used to have a little tabletop and now I've got like my little ramshackle uh, gas forge assembly set up there. Just throw that thing away completely. I'm gonna start over with a nice, well-insulated gas forge. I just built straight into the stone design of the entire thing, so. Let's have it all here in one place, all intentionally built this time, not just built on top of piles of whatever junk I could find lying around. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be something a little nicer. And just so you can get an idea of how like, gross this is on inside. Take apart this fire trough assembly here. See what my blower motors look like. Yeah, it's not pretty down there. There's my original squirrel cage fan. There's the new one I added, which is much more powerful, but I'm still only getting a tiny percentage of what either of them should provide because they're so filthy. So many holes rusted in my big assembly down there. Um, as you can see, like the support across the back here is basically fallen out completely. So yeah, we got some work to do. Right, well, here's what I pulled out of that old shell. So this is what I've been forging Damascus steel with. Kind of impressive that this thing has actually worked as well as it has. Which isn't to say wonderfully, but you know what? I'll take it. I built it when I was like 16. Still kind of impressive that it worked as well as it did. That blower motor there is still working pretty well. I think that's salvageable enough. I'm going to use it in part of the new construction. I think I'm actually not buying anything at all. I literally just came out, took a walk, walk down along the train tracks, and there is so much stone out here. That's a nice flat piece for building with. There is all sorts of stuff you can find out here. So I don't really feel the need to buy any bricks or stone or anything. As far as masonry, all I'm buying is the mortar. Hey you guys, bit of a time jump here. Uh, I decided to spare you my masonry because I don't think that is constructive for anyone to ever see. But suffice to say, got the masonry part done. Got my and fire pot chamber in there. Can't see it because it is nighttime and I'm just using a spotlight with horrible glare, hence the awful lighting. But you'll get to see that at some point. Just wanted to show the chamber I made for the gas forge section though. It is about one foot uh, circle. The plan from here is to line that with two layers of one inch thick cable and then I'm going to line that with some uh, some 3000 degree rated refractory cement. The K wool is rated to 2600 degrees, so hopefully that'll be able to hold up pretty well to forge welding temperatures. So, right now I'm just gonna go in and clean up my brickwork a little bit while the mortars. Oh, hey, cat! Oh, it's too dark, you can't see her. Can you hear her? There she is. Hey, Suki. Alright, so anyways, clean up the brickwork a little bit before the mortar has completely set. I'm going to add in the cable lining, then I'm going to add my refractory because I want to give that time to dry overnight. Um, and yeah, just going to try to get that done for now.
so I figured I'd run you through my blower assembly real quick. Um, I'm by no means an expert on these, but this is just a setup that I'm going to put together. And based on my limited experience, it should work pretty well for my needs. Um, so first, it's got my blower right there. It is a salvage out of a um, some sort of a heating system. I got it on eBay pretty cheap. And here you can see I've welded a little bit thicker of a pipe onto it. Welds on there are sloppy because it's very thin metal, but that should give me something a little more solid to attach to the main burner assembly. And from there, that is going to attach onto this piece. Just did some uh, simple bends on it. It's a little tricky to do fabrication without my forge up and running, but obviously um, can't be forging anything until I get the burner finished. But that piece will pop onto the side of the blower motor. Weld all that solid. Now in here, that slot I've cut out to accept this piece, which I guess, um, what'd you call it, a baffle. That will slot into there and be able to rotate in and out. Let me control the airflow. I'll just put a little piece of stainless steel rod through that hole so I have a nice little swiveling hinge. On the end of it, where it'll actually be inserted into the forge, I got this piece of thick tubing. Weld that right on the end. Just something a little thicker to resist the heat. Then lastly, if you look down here on the bottom, tiny little hole drilled in it there. It's about one millimeter. And then I just had this little steel nipple. Weld that right over the top. Make sure I get a nice airtight weld around that. And that will be my gas inlet. So then that gives it a good few inches here for the fuel to mix. There's another opening there on the top, but I'll talk about that later. That's the basics of a burner, though. Forced air burners don't really need to be that complicated. As long as you're getting the gas and the air in there, you have a way to adjust both of them, and you're good to go. goes ready to test out this new blower motor have it wired into my forge setup so comes on when I flip the switch puts out a, quite a bit of air I have the baffle shut all the way I decided to go against a hinged baffle because I realized I designed that very poorly and I have nowhere to actually open that up to because my gas line is somewhere. so I think it'll work fine to just pull this thing out push it in Should be able to adjust it just fine that way. Yep, and that pushed in all the way. Not much cut to some cardboard in there. I've only got one hand to hold the camera, so. Not actually sure what the best way to light this thing is. In the past, I've, when I've used gas forges, I've turned on the gas first, then the air, so that's what I'm gonna try. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be going. I'm gonna turn that off. Get a little bit of air. Giving it some gas, see if it lights. Well, it seems to be working. There's definitely propane burning. I don't know how well it's working. So the gas forge seems to be working pretty great. Um, now the last thing is to actually try out the oil feed. I hadn't really talked about it yet, but you heard me right earlier when I said oil inlet. Uh, yeah, I've been intrigued by waste oil burners for a little while, so I figured I'd try installing one on here. 
got the gas turned down low and I'm gonna try adding a little bit of oil and see what happens. There. I have that running on pretty minimal gas. And then it turns out my knob is a little uh, a little imprecise for this setup. But I was able to eventually adjust it down to a real nice steady drip. And it seems to have a pretty good even flame at this point. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. That's pretty cool that I'm now able to augment my fuel with uh, waste oil. It's going to use quite a bit less propane. I could probably even run this thing off of natural gas now. It normally doesn't get hot enough to forge with. As you can see, like, I mean, I'm putting just the tiniest whisper of propane in there. And it's still staying at like a high welding heat. The bar of wrought iron that's starting to bubble a little bit, melt at the end. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. Pretty cool.